All right, everybody, hey again. Um, that was pretty funny making that last tutorial, and um, I got a lot of hits on it. So, um, and I, it was actually a funny project. So I thought, let's uh, try and see if we can take this to the next level, so to speak. Um, it is a bit hard uh, getting these uh, getting these hairs to to stick to the surface while it's deforming. So here's a, here's a kind of a workaround. Um, uh, you are going to have to use a deformer, and uh, to do this. Um, so I'm just in a new document and just making a, a plane and a sphere and I'm gonna get that plane to stick to the sphere. You might already know this deformer but uh, I don't think you really know uh, the power of it because it's um, it's actually uh, it can do a lot of stuff. Um, so I've just given this uh, the plane a color so we can see it and uh, now I'm gonna put a, a surface deformer on it if uh, I can find it. What the surface deformer does is um, it takes one object and puts it onto another. Um, I'm going to dump the sphere in the link and I'm going to put it put it to um, to, the, to UV instead of projection. Um, and as you can see, the, it's now sticking. Uh, you can offset it slightly. And I'm just going to increase the subdivisions here, the segments on it, uh, so it gets more um, fine, um, both on the sphere and on the on the plane. So as you can see, um, you can I can now move it around. This uh, I can move the plane around on the sphere, um, and it sticks to the UV coordinates. Very simple and uh, very powerful. I'm going to show you. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny when you, once you start playing with these things, um, you suddenly come to think of uh, other stuff that you can do with this. Um, of course, you can you can scale this down also. Um, if I can manage to figure out, yeah, it's oh, it's got x, uh, y, and and c uh, coordinates there. So yeah, but this is pretty, uh, of course, pretty simple stuff. Slide on surface. Never wanted to do that in uh, Cinema 4D. You might have seen this somewhere else, I don't know, if someone's done this tutorial before. So back in, in, in this other scene, I'm, uh, this is actually, the only thing I did was um, I projected these instead of projecting a, a plane to a sphere, I projected these splines, uh, the the hair splines, guide splines onto the sphere, and uh, uh, I did freeze them. So this is not uh, again. I'm kind of breaking the the procedural cycle here, but uh, but I had to do that in this case. Um, I'm taking um, I, I made a cloner object with these. Uh, these guides that you saw before, and I froze it into this object, and then I'm putting the the surface deformer on on that one, um, which makes it uh, stick. So I'm just going to show you, show you what's going on. I um, I eventually I had to I had to scale them uh, in the what do you call it, the depth or whatever um, in order to uh, to make them look correct. But, uh, you can see here when when I am. When I enable the, the deformer, they, they jump in place. So this will work on, a, on an animated object. And this also means that, that the splines will shrink once the polys become smaller because of the UV. Uh, you can see the, they're sticking to it now. I baked this animation um, and also make all of the feedback a bit faster. I've got some other hairs on here. Uh, the, uh, the other hairs are dynamic, um, so they're they're colliding with the they're colliding with the planes. The other splines are not dynamic because otherwise they're gonna fall off. Um, the, so the the main hairs are not dynamic. The, the extra hairs are dynamic. 
I'm just going to show you another way to use this uh, this surface deformer <laughs> because, as I said, this is what happens uh, when you when you start playing around with stuff like this. You suddenly come to think of, oh, I can use it for something else. And uh, I actually I made this um, this boat stick to a surface by using the the surface deformer. It, this might be <laughs> the totally wrong way to do it, and you can probably get some plugin or script that does the same. But th that's not what it's about. This is about what using what's inside cinema to drive other things around and pushing around data and that's really uh, that's uh, that's the fun stuff about this program it's got so many different um, different little tools that can help each other it's a it's a good playground so anyway real quick i am i made a plane with uh, it's just, just one poly here so this kind of levels it out do you see what i mean it kind of makes it uh, interpolate these waves it's it's uh, pretty clever then I made a single clone with a, with a ship and stuck it to the polygon center. Um, but of course, that won't. That's going to get me in trouble later on because it's a clone. I can't do anything with that. So uh, I made. You all know this, uh, or now you do at least. You make an espresso uh, where you take the, the data from um, from the cloner um, and uh, and you map it onto uh, to another object. So I'm hiding. Um, I'm gonna. I'm hiding the cloner, and then I'm. I'm showing another object, uh, which is the ship, which will give me access to to the ships probably. And then um, I'm gonna hide some other stuff. Hide that plane again. Um, hide the cloner. Show the the polygon ship, and then I put dynamics on uh, on the boat. You can see that when it starts, that kind of sinks. And I'm using this the force. Uh, I'm, oh god, that sounded really funny. Um, I'm using the force tab because that is where you can you can say that you you want it to stick with some percentage to to its actual position. Uh, the UV uh, the surface deformer is animated by the way uh, along the coordinates so the boat sails. But uh, turning on these uh, on these on these forces uh, how how it sticks to it you can see the boat now it's really sticky and rigid. Uh, so putting the the position to to ten and uh, the rotation down, it'll make it uh, kind of wobble around. Of course, you could offset it also to get it above or under the waves. But uh, yeah, pretty funny way of um, <coughs> of using a deformer. By the way, the waves um, are, are made with um, with a, a shader effector uh, with deformation enabled on on a plane. Also, um, as you can see, it's it's animated textures. I'm I'm using uh, different noise textures. Uh, this is the dent one. I think I inverted it, um, and it's animated on various parameters. And uh, then I'm stacking them uh, on top of each other. Um, and you can see they're, they're real time, uh, which is pretty cool. You've got feedback, instant feedback. Uh, so I'm stacking them on, on, on top of each other and, and scaling them down and uh, turning the transparency down on them with, uh, with a layer. So you get this um, kind of a wave e thing. You can see you can really mess it up if you push the wrong button. And I'm doing it again in the bump section, just for visual <laughs> pleasure. Again, just stacking them and uh, turning them down. Yeah, I've got this uh, on top of it. I've got this gamma correction on the, on it, and you can see what it's what it's doing. It's kind of making the waves more pointy. I know this was going to be about uh, knitting. But uh, now that you're here, you might as well show you this. Yeah, so um, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, <laughs> have fun with that.